Hi guys, this is a video response to my mate Pete, aka the Fat Aussie Bastard, who put a video up yesterday about his experiences with the Plough Inn at BrizTube, the YouTube gathering in Brisbane about a few weeks ago. Now, um, I was going to do a video about this when I got back, but I didn't really want to because I thought it cast a bit of a negative light on what was otherwise a fantastic weekend, but recent events have made me change my mind. The recent events being that the Plough Inn has decided to sue Pete for putting a video up the day after we visited their establishment, criticising it for the staff for their basically nasty behaviour and their... they were just really rude. Uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of background. Um, first things first, Pete pretty much single-handedly organised the entire BrizTube gathering by himself, and he did a fantastic job, and kudos to him, I think he did a brilliant job of organising events for us and places to go and things like that. He did a great job. And one of the things he organised several months before the gathering itself was where we were going to have lunch, and it was going to be at this place called the Plough Inn. It's a little pub at South Bank in Brisbane. And he rang them up and told them, look, we're going to be about probably somewhere between 60 and 100 people. We're from YouTube. Uh, we're going to be wanting lunch. Are you going to be able to accommodate that many people? And... He made sure everything that they understood exactly who we are, we were going to have cameras and we were filming each other and everything seemed to be fine. Um, it wasn't until about three or four days prior to the gathering itself that he realised that they'd actually not received any kind of confirmation from them, so he decided to give them a ring, at which point they basically decided that they weren't, we weren't welcome there anymore, that they didn't want us there, that they didn't think they'd be able to handle that many people for a lunch thing and all that sort of stuff, so... It sort of threw things into a bit of a panic, and I would imagine Pete must have absolutely been tearing himself apart trying to get things sorted out at the last minute, because for a business to pull out at the literally the 11th hour is really unprofessional. But thankfully, he was able to organise a booking for us to go to the Dex Seafood Restaurant, which was only a couple of minutes' walk up from the Plough Inn. I'd like to do a big shout-out to the Dex Restaurant. They were absolutely phenomenal. They had the most amazingly attentive staff. They were so friendly. They were so welcoming. They had absolutely no issue with having a room full of YouTubers. They had the most amazing fresh food. It was the most brilliant seafood I've ever eaten in my life. It was wonderful. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Now, we decided that we would probably stop in at the Plow Inn after lunch anyway, just for a drink. And since they weren't able to accommodate us for lunch, like, we can understand that. Like, it's a large group, but, like, in the end, it was still fairly unprofessional of them to not have informed us sooner that they would not be able to accommodate us, but we thought, anyway, we'll go down for a drink. Now, it became instantly apparent that our group was not welcome there as soon as we got there. Um, the staff behind the bar... Well, I'll clarify. When we got there, I went and got a drink from the downstairs bar, and the staff there were fine. They were absolutely friendly. They had no issues whatsoever. When we went upstairs, which was, like, totally deserted virtually... Um, there was probably about 50 or 60 of us left from the restaurant group because, like, there was a few under-18s, they all left. We went upstairs and it was virtually empty. We started ordering drinks at the bar and the bar staff were very, very rude. They weren't very sort of friendly at all. They were... It was very clear they didn't want us there. Um, we had little stickers that sort of said YouTube that... It was basically just more to sort of like identify anyone who had decided to come along to the plough in who didn't come along to the earlier activity so they'd know who we are and where, where our group was. And I know for a fact that several of those stickers went walkabout um, because I saw a lot of people who weren't part of our group wearing those stickers. And that will come back to that later. But um, uh, one example of the crappy sort of service we got there, I went to the upstairs bar and I wasn't drinking that night. I'd been drinking the night before. I went to go and get a glass of Coke and I asked for a large glass of Coke and I got this really, really small glass of Coke. And I asked the, the bartender, um, is that a large Coke? And she just sort of looked at me with this sort of look of derision, went, yes, three bucks, please, or whatever the price was. And I was just like, oh, okay. So I went to pay her. And as I was leaving, I noticed that the person beside me who was ordering from another bartender um, had ordered a large Coke as well. And I glanced over and noticed that the glass of Coke they got was about twice the size of the one I got. And I was there going, oh, okay. And it, the only difference was the person, that the other person wasn't part of the YouTube group and wasn't wearing a YouTube sticker. So it was just astonishing that they would treat sort of people like that. But 
what really got up people's noses were when the security guards started coming around telling people they weren't allowed to film. Um, we weren't filming the pub or its patrons. We were filming each other, like doing little interview things. That's what happens at a gathering anyway. But they started getting really nasty about it. I remember they actually did it to Mr. Stripey Head. They actually said, well, put the camera away or we're going to throw you out. But later on in the evening, like, oh, it wasn't evening, it was probably later afternoon, uh, I was sitting inside in the upstairs section with a few people, DCT Cool and um, Kensington 25 and a couple of other people. And the security guard came up behind me and sort of said about how somebody had been sticking these YouTube stickers on the wall downstairs. There was one or two stickers down there and they weren't really impressed with that. And if it keeps happening, they're going to throw everyone out. And I sort of said to him, like, why are you telling me? Like, I didn't do it. And you don't expect me to go around and talk to 60 people and sort of say, look, don't do it. Like, that's just idiot behaviour. Like, that's not my job. And he came back about five minutes later and more or less implied that I was to go downstairs and clean up these stickers that were on the wall or we were all going to get thrown out. And I sort of said, look, there's no guarantee that it was one of our group who did it because I know for a fact somebody swiped at half of our stickers and was handing them out to everyone. So it could be anyone who's done it. But in the end, it's a bloody sticker on the wall. Just peel the freaking thing off. Like... Why are you carrying on? It's just, it's idiotic behaviour. But after that, it was just, it, we were just so unwelcome there. It was just like, well, I'm, I've had enough. I'm done. I'm going. And it was, you could see that the people were like quickly leaving after this all sort of started to happen. It was like really sad because it was the last event, official event of the weekend. And it really sort of brought a whole downer to the whole weekend. It really sort of spoiled it. And there was absolutely no excuse. I mean... When you look at the difference between the behaviour at the Plough Inn from their staff and the behaviour of the staff at Hotel LA on the Saturday night, they're ponds apart. The people at Hotel LA were courteous, they were accommodating, they were very, very friendly, They there was nothing they wouldn't do to make sure your night was great. They knew how to treat a large group of people who had booked ahead. It was a fantastic night. I have nothing but praise for the staff there and at the Dex restaurant, but... The plough in were just outrageous. And now that they've gone into the newspaper and they're slagging off us YouTubers, saying that we are a law unto ourselves and we don't consider the consequences when we put a video up and stuff like that, sorry, but that's absolute crap. And to be sort of tarred with the same brush is just really offensive to me. As far as I'm concerned, they are kidding themselves if they think they are going to get a defamation case going against Pete because in the end... I don't think they've got a leg to stand on with it. I think the truth above everything else will come out. I mean, let's face it, there were a whole bunch of people there with video cameras, and I know for a fact that several people have got footage of those security guards that were carrying on like complete pork chops. So in the end, it's really just a complete joke. I mean, as far as I understand, they haven't actually gone ahead with the court case as yet. I think it's more of a threat type thing, but of course we're going to know more about that in the next couple of days. But I wanted to put this video up as a little show of support for my friend Pete, who is a fantastic bloke. You should go over and check out his channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash the fat Aussie bastard. Um, you should absolutely go over and subscribe, support him, because in the end, if they start suing people for doing reviews of places on the internet, where's it going to stop? In the end, freedom of speech itself is in sort of your hands. You've got to fight this kind of crap. They, the owners of the Plough Inn obviously don't respect their customers and they certainly don't respect people who aren't willing to bend over and kiss their ass for no reason. So anyway, sorry for the long video and I'm sorry for the sort of downer on this one, but I promise to do something a bit happier next time. All right, guys, keep out of trouble.